Much at the state house now we're getting more details on how the state plans to use six and a half million dollars in grant money to help victims of sex trafficking. Yeah, this is definitely a very interesting and needed project and we're being told that the money is going to help build up residential programs for minors who've been victims of trafficking. Our Josie Frost is at the state house now with more on how they plan to do this. Josie. The director of the state's human trafficking task force tells me that right now there is only one program in South Carolina for female sex trafficking victims and none for male victims. But with $6.5 million from the state's budget, four new shelters will be built, all equipped to give victims what they need to get back on their feet. There's not enough help anywhere in the state or outside of the state to um, help provide what victims need as they're trying to get out. Heather Bagan was trafficked herself from the ages of 14 to 32, and now she works as an advocate with Lighthouse for Life. She says finding a space to live where a victim can be supported and have the resources they need is vital to starting a new life after being trafficked. Safety is important, um, and so if a woman can feel safe, the chances of her staying and growing and being able to heal through that process, it goes up. That's why an appropriation from this year's budget will create four new residential and emergency programs for trafficking victims that are minors. The new shelters will be unidentified houses that look like any other, but they provide mental health resources and specialized care for victims. Catherine Moorhead is the director of the state's human trafficking task force. Uh, would include a safe space for them to live, first and foremost. Uh, clinical mental health supports, they may need physical um, they may need health care, uh, dental care. She says this care is especially important for minor victims. Help with navigating dynamics with the family. Oftentimes, parents and guardians don't understand the victimization, uh, but other times family members are involved in the exploitation of these children. And how do you navigate that? According to data from the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, of the 498 total reported victims in 2023, all but 38 of those were minors. Pagan says intervening with these victims early is crucial. You can save a lifetime repairing the adult because the longer they stay in it, the more you have to unravel. Of the four new programs that this money will go to, three will be for female victims and one will be for male victims. They plan to roll out solicitation for these programs in January. Reporting at the State House, Josie Frost, News 19, WLTX.